Alright, so you're looking at uh, two computers which uh, might be a bit familiar if you're a regular viewer of this channel. So to the left we have the uh, Weird Frankenstein uh, LGA1155, a computer we built some time ago. And to the right we've got my uh, streaming machine which we also built uh, not long ago at all. However, what's new is the motherboard sitting in between them, which uh, uh, as always I purchased very cheaply. That's an MSI B75A G43 motherboard for LGA1155. And the reason I've got this board is because this streaming machine is uh, driving me insane. Uh, as uh, it's built around an AMD A105800K APU with no graphics card and uh, uh, the CPU is simply too slow for my applications. It it can't keep up with encoding video and doing some other stuff at the same time, which sadly is uh, my continued experience with this CPU. I keep putting it in various medium load applications at it, and it just can never ever keep up. So uh, I would just uh, bring that computer in there instead however it doesn't have the appropriate expansion slots required it's only got one PTIe 16 times and one one times uh, which isn't enough for the graphics card sound card and HDMI capture card which I just require to have installed on this computer since for 2500k doesn't have a super fast integrated GPU I'd rather use an external GPU uh, with it so we're going to be using this uh, motherboard just because it has more expansion slots than the MITX thing in the computer to the left so let's just get to it rip this computer apart and uh, see if we can manage to get some utility out of this system I'm really getting tired of this thing letting me down over and over again so as a quick look at the new motherboard, uh, it's a very generic, rather cheap motherboard as well, uh, B75A5 base, so it's uh, not going to be doing any kind of overclocking, even though we're putting a case or a CPU in it. Uh, this board isn't really optimal for my applications uh, either, in the sense that it's got a PCIe slot and the top slot, and my uh, streaming PC case actually doesn't have that cut out so this slot is going to be useless to us so the configuration we're going to have to be running on our cards is a graphics card in the lower PCIe 2.0 4 times slot which is not very impressive performance but it's going to be better than the integrated and uh, our sound card and HDMI capture card in those two uh, upper slots there and my extra sound card in one of in the lowest PCI slot and we're going to be left with only one free PCI slot on there but eh, it doesn't really matter too much uh, port-wise, this uh, motherboard is pretty comparable to the old AMD board. It's got VGA, DVI-I and HDMI on the back plane, a few 6 USBs, I think, and PST if I need that. And it's all just a very basic, uh, basic board. And here's a little MATX PC we're going to be ripping for God's sake of, and I hate tearing this thing apart because I absolutely adore this computer. But uh, we're going to be grabbing everything out of this, save for the power supply and the motherboard and perhaps the rear case fan. So it's going to be resting in peace for a while, however I think I've got a source for a new CPU for it, so it's not going to be that bad, it's just going to go into hibernation for a while. On the plus side I'm not too sad about it because this is just an extra PC to me anyway, and this, since it's not got the appropriate expansion slots for me, it's well just sitting around otherwise, it's waiting for LAN parts and what have you, so at least uh, this, this guy's going to be uh, seeing some gratification in actually getting used. So let's just uh, rip this poor thing apart and steal all its internal organs. There we go, there's the main board. Uh, so uh, we're not really cannibalizing too much of this computer really because uh, I'm pretty much just aiming to steal the CPU cooler and the cooler mount uh, because I still don't own a LGA1155 cooler so I'm hoping we're just going to be able to rip this plastic mount off here and use this uh, repurposed LGA775 cooler uh, on the MSI motherboard. I think it's going to work out quite well because it doesn't seem to be uh, anything specific to the motherboard at all. Uh, we might also end up, uh, yeah, we're going to be stealing the RAM out of this thing because it's got 16 gigs of uh, PC 312800U. Uh, That's, uh, is that uh, 1333 or 1600? I don't know. But uh, it's, it's good enough for a sandbridge 
2500k anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, at first glance this looks very promising, because uh, this uh, seems to be a pretty box standard LDA 1155 mate, but it's still an OE board, so there could be something weird, but here goes. Oh yes, isn't that beautiful? That fits absolutely perfectly on there. Whew, what a relief, else I'd have to uh, pretty much just put screws in there and uh, rely on the board to keep everything steady and that's not too good on the PCB material itself. Now before we proceed with uh, actually mounting all the computer hardware, uh, I want to make a bit of a modification to this cooler because I've got a lot of this uh, sound damping material left over from the server build and I know that these fans which I've used here uh, have a rather li loud drive to them. So uh, that's not big, a big issue in itself, uh, except for the fact that we've got this remote of rubber grommet and this plastic is rather a uh, resonancy and uh, you, you can often hear a rather distinctive ticking noise coming from the fan. So my plan now is to just cut a stripe of this material and then use a zip tie to secure that uh, around the fan, essentially pretty much five doubling the mass of the plastic frame and uh, likely preventing it from uh, doing much of a resonance vibrating -y, vibration -y stuff at all. I wonder, can anyone tell that quiet computers is kind of my thing? And here's the modified fan. I tried really hard to arrange an acoustic demo of this, but uh, sadly uh, my microphone combined with the acoustic noise in this room at the moment uh, would not play ball with that in the slightest. And it doesn't help that this fan only works with PWM, it cannot be voltage controlled at all from my lab power supply. So you'll just have to take my word for it that uh, this is a bit of an improvement to this fan. So let's just uh, continue on our quest and uh, assemble the rest of the machine. In goes with CPU. And on goes the thermal paste. That ought to upset everybody. Oh yes, watch that big F spread out. Ah, oh, it's so uneven, it's not going to cool properly. You're going to have overheating issues. Your computer's going to catch fire. Ah, oh, there's the simple motherboard, RAM installed and all. So, well that, we just need to clear up the AMD A to the uh, case and uh, get, get, get everything installed. Ah, this poor machine. I actually put some effort into making it actually decent this time around, but yet again, it's just failed. It's just failed to live up to my expectations. This APU is just not fast enough to encode the video I wanted to encode. Ah, well, out it comes. Ah, there we go, and if that's not an overcrowded case, then I don't know what is. I actually had to put some amount of effort into routing the cables in order to not have everything dangling around and absolutely blocking all the airflow. And indeed, this graphics card is not going to be the happiest card on earth when it gets to see proper load. Uh, that's not going to be a very common use case scenario for this computer, but still, we might end up actually scrapping this GPU in case it just turns out too loud or too hot. I am rather impressed in how I've actually managed to occupy every single expansion slot on the board, with the final one being a serial port riser for connecting up to the legacy stuff. And we also have a very tight tolerance between the edge of the case and the cooler, but it actually does fit, thankfully. So we're going to have to try this out, see how this perf uh, computer performs uh, thermally. Uh, this, uh, this poor power supply is probably going to be running rather hot in this current config, so uh, I am somewhat afraid we're going to have to ditch this same roofing and actually install an extra exhaust fan if we decide to keep the GPU, but uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, for now, uh, all I've got to do is uh, install some software on this thing and give it a proper test. Alright, here goes. And it does seem to power on, but yeah, we're going to have to set everything up since this is an entirely new machine config for the motherboard. Oh wow, oh, that's fancy. Well, call me surprised, uh, Windows from the AMD build decided to just boot 
with no mocking around at all and install a whole heap of drivers. So that's a lucky, lucky, lucky thing because I uh, this is a fresh Windows install. I didn't need to reinstall this, but I <laughs> I would not have imagined uh, the ability to straight up copy with no interaction at all a Windows install from an AMD FM2 platform to an LGA 1155 platform. I'm honestly surprised. I was just expecting this to blue screen when it can't find its boot device, but it must have somehow had the Intel. Uh, ACPI driver installed. Sweet. That's excellent. All that backing up of the old machine for nothing. Oh well. And we've never got all the drivers installed and I'm running a bit of a stability test on a machine. It's of course entirely stable being a reasonably uh, good quality machine. But uh, under absolutely full load it's drawing 250 watts and it's screaming like a cat caught in some kind of rather heavy industrial machinery. Beyond that, I figured out that uh, the GPU actually doesn't do at all what I wanted to do. Uh, OBS doesn't seem to support uh, video card rendering. However, it does support uh, using the quick sync ability in the CPU. So I really have no reason at all to have a GPU in this machine. So I'm just going to take the thing out and uh, install it if this thing ever needs to play a game. Uh, mostly I want to get rid of it because it uh, simply push pushes the idle pay consumption of the machine way up. It's drawing over 6 to what's just sitting and uh, the GPU is pretty much the only thing running warm while it's doing that. So the GPU is going to come out, we're going to lose some idle pay consumption, we're going to gain a lot of space in the case and it's no longer going to be making awful noises on the load. And there we go. With the graphics card gone, we've dropped our idle power consumption down to 45 watts, which, while not really super good, uh, is, uh, well, 15 watts better than 60. And uh, I just did a bit of testing, and uh, I can still encode video just fine. If I enable Intel QuickSync, then I can pretty much render at a much higher quality standard than I ever could on the AMD machine while not really using the CPU software for anything. And uh, if I just use raw CPU rendering, uh, I uh, this uh, computer enables me to go from the fast preset at 800 kilobits to the slow preset uh, for the X264 encoder, which is a giant leap in video quality. In fact, I could probably go to even one quarter step further if I were willing to sacrifice a bit of uh, performance doing other stuff, but the Slow preset allows me to use uh, about 60% of the CPU's available resources uh, for video encoding while leaving me some to run like spectrum analysis and the VSD stuff uh, on the side, which is rather important as well. So all in all, this is a very, uh, very, very successful build, even without the GPU. Well, especially without the GPU, since that thing was just loud and hot and obnoxious. It does leave me with only three, v three video outputs and only one VGA output, which is a bit annoying. I'd rather have something with at least two VGA outputs for testing purposes, but oh well, you can't have everything. If this is still a very cheap computer using used parts and a very cheap second-hand motherboard. So with that, I think it's about time to wrap this up. This is a new streaming computer. I'm uh, gonna get a fair amount of use out of it. Uh, certainly more than the like four streams I did on the AMD before growing very, very tired of it. Uh. And you will be seeing me through this thing in the future. Thank you for watching. Cheerio.